going to hit a couple of... That direction. I'm pretty sure it would be... Very slippery. Watch your feet up this part. This is bedrock slate with mud, pine needles, and a lot of water, and a fair amount of slime. <laughs> but isn't that what uh, walking falls is all about? Making choices, working out problems. Looking after yourself. Oh, and by the way, we're coming back down this path later on as well. So we know what to expect on the way back down. So as you rise up beside this little beck, uh, on around a little bit, you can see this moor over there still in the black. Uh, but it is an improving forecast and if we pan around a little bit, we can see Melbrek there. It's distinctive to peaks and north and south where we were last week and uh, you can perhaps see that the weather just seems to be clearing from that direction so hopefully we're in for a good day uh, although again tonight it's supposed to come back in again and uh, clag us all out again anyway where are you going? eventually he's up there but first off we're going to take this path straight up and then we're going to pass to the right and uh, go for our first peak And for those adventurous souls, there's a bridge over the back, which I won't be taking. <laughs> On the wheel as we approach this gate here, which I think is the point where we'll come back to after we've come back down. What we're going to do is swing a right and follow the path up and over there. And later on today, I believe we'll be coming back down here. So, we're going to test the 30 out, I think. <laughs> So, as most will tell you, 
it's always a great idea to stop, turn around, see what's behind you. There's Krimuk water. Isn't that beautiful? Never so moody at the moment. So it's a good uh, it's a good thing I came out as early as I did, otherwise I would have missed this. Yeah. I don't think I've said before, 11th of April 2024. Beautiful sunny morning. Of course ahead of you can look quite pretty too, if you get your head up and not trudge. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful little fell? I'll put a caption in later on when I figure out what it is. <laughs> For the minute, up through the old gate, keep going. Okay, so as I rounded the corner, the, the wind got the best of the audio on the camera. Um, and I was looking down into the valley there where um, there was a bunch of herdies sheltering from the wind and that was my path up to Fellbarrow but if you just look to the uh, right hand side of that tree that's in kind of the centre uh, top of the frame there there's a little black herdie with a broken leg I wasn't going to go down there and upset all of those herdies and get them up and jumping around, particularly when one of them has got a broken leg. So I changed my plans. We're going up that route. We're going to miss out fell but out today and we're going to do low fell only. Just as I uh, crossed that stile there, you know, I found a little sheltered place just to uh, overlook the valley, uh, down onto Crimmock Water. Uh, as you can see, the high fell tops are still in a lot of clag at the moment, but the low fell tops are accessible. So, as I mentioned before, we've got Ranadale there, just on the left hand side of Crimmock Water, Melbrecht just peeking out side of the fell here. Um, the grass moor still well and surely clogged in at this point. Uh, whiteless pike there is just about clear up above Ranadale. Not so I thought I would just have a little sit and a cup of coffee before we do this last little bit onto the top of uh, Low Fell and then uh, a fairly steep descent, it has to be said, um, which is not my fault here with my gummy left knee. <laughs> it's getting better, taking some time.
Look at that light. Isn't that fantastic? And, just like last week, other than a few cars down the valley, I've got to filter myself again. It's a Thursday, so you wouldn't expect crowds. What a treat, look at that. You know, completely blue sky is lovely. But it doesn't give you views like this. It's good for the soul. My soul, anyway. <laughs> You'll have to look after your own. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a beam of light shining down on the side of the fell there, right in front of us. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It'd be hard for you to hear with like these skylarks on the way up in the fields, the water cups, even the old bluebell. Yeah, I found a perfect little table for my coffee. <laughs> nice dry sitting place with a view like this. And nobody else here. And there's even bumblebees out.
Okay, so it was at this point that I decided that uh, discussion was a better part of valor and stopped recording until I got here, set up the camera for a bit of a time lapse and um, had another cup of coffee. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Blossoms out. So I'm no arborist, but is this a cherry tree then? It does look uh, vaguely like cherry trees to me, this sort of blossom. Yeah, beautiful. Right. Quite sobering. I fell over twice up there today. Um, and all I did was get my knees a bit muddy and a bit wet. But frankly, I was enjoying myself up on the top. But as you noticed on the way down, because I knew it was going to be really slippery, no video. Somebody up there has got the help that they require. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time, I'm going to get back to the car, I'm going to take my time again, I'm going to get back to my loved ones. Yeah, that's the story of today. Be safe on the fells, get back to your loved ones safely. That's what they want. That's what you should want. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, a wee bit of news from uh, Cockermouth Mountain Rescue. I met a couple of guys back up there. A bit, whoop, see Daisy. I'm going to stop walking. Uh, so not an exercise. Somebody up there uh, broke their ankle. I suppose. Could have been worse, but it's not very nice, is it? The guys have been called out, they were jumping up there with stretches. Uh, only they were being loaded onto the helicopter and uh, then they'll be evacuated to one of the local hospitals. Probably Whitehaven, possibly Carlisle. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, that helicopter's right where we were. I didn't see anybody. And then, by the time I get down into the valley bottom, which can have taken more than, I don't know, 25 minutes, maybe half an hour, the helicopter's going off on my head for somebody who was broken down ankle. Yeah, and I fell over twice. Yeah, so. This is one of these times, isn't it, when you kind of reflect on how lucky you are to live in an area like this. And also with professionals like the Cockermouth Mountain Rescue, confirmed it was them guys, and the Great uh, North Air Ambulance. Um, yeah. Be careful out there, guys. See you next time.